when you be Shaka Conduit. It is Yosemite Jam. I mean, Yosemite Sam. I mean, Shaka <laughs> Conduit. Look at look at her rubber legs. I don't know how many. She always kind of looks like a Hulk smash, but like a mini Hulk smash. Shaka, it's more like a Hulk smash. Hulk smash. <laughs> no, but Shaka Conduit can Hulk smash too. Here, whistles looks like uh, Psycho Novia is trying to call the jam. Mr. Rock calls it off her, tells her that she picks up two points on that last pass. So at 16 minutes and 41 seconds, we're going to have 17 on the board for Minnesota Roller Girls, 22 for the Windy City Rollers. We've got about 16 and a half minutes to go in the first period. We're almost halfway through this first period. We do want to thank some of our great sponsors like Five on Five Magazine. They are the official magazine of the Women's Flat Track Derby Association. You can subscribe now on 515mag.com. Spell it out, F-I-V-E on F-I-V-E, mag.com. Tell them Dump Truck and Val sent you because we love you. Mm, and your faces. And your faces. It's true. Number 91 on the Jammer Line uh, for Minnesota. Up. It's going to be Susie Smashbox. Susie, Susie Smashbox. And Beth oh. and Fetamine for Windy City. Yes, that's right. B amp. Oh, but on the wow. inside is Susie Smashbox. You blank, you're going to miss something, ladies and gentlemen. So get the duct tape out, open those eyelids, and pay <laughs> attention. Because right now, Beth and Fetamine has trouble getting through the pack, but she is already caught up to Smashbox. What and great athleticism you're seeing on both sides of the track. That Beth and Fetamine and Susie Smashbox are like hugging each other as they skate back to their respective benches. Susie Smashbox was forced to call the jam because Beth and Fetamine is a gold medal speed skater. She is uh she she and Cola Loca actually took took home the gold recently in uh speed skating. That is kind of amazing. Yeah. True story. I, I wonder why they're uh, why they're going for number one in the North Central Region. Because they are awesome. <laughs> oh, by the way, what's awesome? You get to take a drink because that's a zero zero jam right there, my friend. Speaking of awesome, we have Ruth and Asia against Lexi Cuter. Twenty two seventeen, Windy City on top. Fifteen minutes to go with the first period. And we got a lead jammer for the first time tonight. Ruth. Right and it's now, great because everybody thinks people are saying boo, but instead they're saying roof. Minnesota Roller Girls down. Two blockers in the box. One about to rejoin the action. And there she goes. Lexi Cuter getting through the pack. She is now available to score. And as we speak, Ruth oh. and Asia makes it right on through. Hot skipping a jump. No problem at all. She gets through. Calls off the jam. It picking was, up four points. It was perfect, perfect execution of pack work. The Windy City Rollers Black slided the aqua of Minnesota Roller Girls. Kind of saran wrapped them to the outside. Ruth and Asia cut up real clean the inside. Just said, you know what? Screw this. I'm done. Call on the jam. Four points. That was a great clean sweep there by the Windy City Pack. And right now, it looks like we have Kololoka on the jammer line for Windy City. And number That's 18 Scarman. for Minnesota. Scarman Hell Lecture, man. She is oh, she, she's a workhorse. I think she might be a robot, too. <laughs> I'm just saying. She is always out there. What, didn't she, like, just block the last jam and then jam before then? And, well, no, she jammed, like, four jams before. I think she just blocked the last three jams, and now she's jamming just because she can. Well, you know, if you can, you do, especially with a utility skater like that young lady. Um, next time I talk to her, I'm going to bet her that she can't be in every single jam in the bout. Amy, no Amy, with a huge block on Scarman Hell Electra. Followed up by Georgia on your behind oh. with a nice bump and run as well. Living up to that Georgia Peach name. Cola Loca fights up through the inside. Lead jammer status, Windy City Rollers. Amy, no Amy, take a trip to the penalty box. In there, she's going to join her teammate, Blossom Bruzo, also in the penalty box. I believe that's F-16, Citizen Payne from Minnesota Roller Girls. I believe you are correct. And there goes number 28, Scarman Hell Electra, trying to make her way down around the pack. But Cola Loca is already in the middle. Gets a nice hit with there from Georgia. Trying to make it through. Trying to get past number 818, Jukebox. Oh, there is no getting past Jukebox. I don't know if you know this. It's actually illegal to pass Jukebox. It's in the newest <laughs> WFTDA 7.9 edition. It is now actually illegal to pass up Jukebox. It will probably be at 7.9 in about eight months, I think. I think in about three days. <laughs> I say why not. Number 34, the Windy City All-Stars, Athena to Crime on the Jammer Line, and a Cycle Tobia for the Windy. I'm sorry, oh, for Minnesota. I wish she was a Windy City Roller. Are you kidding me? She's already used to wearing blue. Just send her to Chicago. Come on. <laughs> Work it out. We do have a timeout for the Minnesota Roller Girls, oh, no. and that is when we... That is actually for the Windy City Rollers, I believe. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Oh, thank you, Hinkley Productions, for being... Nice. Uh,
amazing. So on top of the ball, they have a, a nice monitor right in front of us. So me and Dump Truck don't even have to turn our pretty little heads away. We do look good. Our heads are pretty. Mm, it's true. And they, <laughs> and they will be full of vodka later on this evening. Pretty, both, pretty vodka. Both of these teams are going to have a lot to celebrate this evening. No matter who comes out on top, they both have a trip to Chicago. But, but we do want to thank our... Well, I was going to say, you know who's going to celebrate on that? September 17th? Hmm. Cruise Skate Shop, because oh, they're opening up their second location. Their, their original one was in San Francisco. Still is, rather, in San Francisco. But they are opening up a second location in Sacramento. Can you check them out online? You can totally check them out online if you go to cruiseskateshop.com. That's C-R-U-Z skateshop.com. Very excited for them. Motley, my, my bro, she is awesome. I would venture to say that she is hella rad. Um, <laughs> I mean, then again, I'm just biased. But no, really, cruiseskateshop.com. What's so cool about them is that they're a hybrid store where they cater to skateboarding and roller derby. It's like two communities that clearly go so well together. Very extreme, but... Extreme. 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 Oh, my God. We're going to do that all night. But what <laughs> is extreme is Jackie Daniels is going to be taking on Psychonovia instead of Athena the Crime. I'm wondering if that's a penalty situation there, and that's why they change out their jammers. That could be a possibility. It looks like uh, Minnesota's going to start with Psychonovia, and then we're going to have... Jackie Daniels for the Windy City Rollers. This broadcast is brought to you by DerbyNewsNetwork.com and Hinkley Design and Production. Without this team, you would not be able to watch us at your favorite bar. That's right. You would not be able to watch us at your favorite bar, in your favorite living room, or in your favorite bathroom if you have Wi-Fi that goes everywhere. I'd watch it from the bathroom. Why wouldn't you? You get less breaks. Bring a cooler, find the big stall, you're good. Uh, we have some people at home that are saying, I hope Beth Amphetamine busts out the jammer cage. Um, that is where she decides to cage in her opposition by climbing over them until the first whistle blows. Both Maybe we'll jammers. see that later on. But right now, this is this is for the title of the greatest team in the North Central. So now she, she's all down to business, as is Jack Daniels. He's wearing the jam star. Gets a whip from Blossom Bruzo, Barla Vendetta, and Who's Your Mama round out that pack while Amy No Namey sits in the penalty box. Dump truck. Looks like Psychonovia picking up a minor penalty back blocking, trying to get back to Barla Vendetta. Not easy to do. Barla Vendetta, one of the most amazing skaters I have seen in a long, long time, and I'm very fortunate to be familiar with the Windy City Rollers and Minnesota because they are phenomenal. I am fortunate to be familiar with with the words Lee Jammer as in Jackie Daniels who picks up that status. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Don't apologize. It was quite amazing. It looks like Amy No Amy is going to rejoin the action. Why, yes, Killer V. If we did spawn a child, it would be very loud and quick-witted and maybe, maybe, maybe one of us would finally sound like a girl. <laughs> would we cancel each other out with our with our love child? Oh, Jackie Daniels is going to cancel out this jam. She calls the jam, picks up two points, though. Nice work. Again, see, this is all about teamwork. This is not about being flashy, going for these big, crazy jams. It just takes one point to win, last I checked. And also, last I checked, let's see, this is one, two, three, four, five, according to my officially unofficial stats, of course. Of course. Of course. Jams that Minnesota Roller Girls have not scored. So right now it is 17 for the Minnesota Roller Girls. Windy City Rollers with 30 coming on top with 11 minutes and 15 seconds to go. Both have all their timeouts is what the scoreboard says. Oh, I guess that was not a team timeout charge to the Windy City Rollers. That was actually an official review. And Shaka Conduit's lining up on the outside, number 15, all in black. Susie Smashbox with a nice little step around the legs of Go-Go Hatchet. But Susie gets forced in by Go-Go Hatchet as well. Wow. Nice whip from Hoosier Mama. Go ahead, Dump Truck. What a great job there. It looks like Wendy City Rollers are going to go ahead and take control of the jam clock. Shaka Conduit coming through as Lee Jamma. I'm pretty sure that Hoosier Mama has one allergy, and that is to not whipping. <laughs> all she does is whip. I wonder if she does anything but whip. Oh, wait. She kills you. Look at what she does to you when she is in the pack. She is really good at skating big, taking up that area. She may be in one spot and maybe only a few inches wide, but she will go from inside the track to the outside track and frustrate the snot out of your head. And Chaka Conduit picks up five points, so it says Howie Swerve. That's a grand slam, folks. Kilimanjaro is going to be joining her teammate, Citizen Payne, in the penalty box. Meanwhile, it looks like we got one skater from Windy City in the box also. But on the track, George on your behind is trying to put a stop to Susie Smashbox's victory party. Shaka Conduit with a little bump, too, helping out her teammate. Go, go, wow. Hatchet! Oh. Go, go, Hatchet and Georgia really trading off on number 91 for Minnesota. Susie Smashbox, you want to talk about a hard lady to hold back. Windy City Rollers have their pack play in control. Shaka Conduit in the pack once again. Needs some help from Hoosier Mama and Georgia on your behind as... Cola Loca and now Go-Go Hatchet are sitting in the penalty box waiting nervously 
to get out there and kill someone. Smashbox is looking for some help there from her fellow teammates. Arms but in they're the air all going, ladies. Front. Oh, that was a beautiful play by the Windy City Rollers because Tiki Torture and Citizen Pain were up top. Wow, Hoosier oh, Mama oh, oh, almost oh, took oh, down oh. Diamond Rough. That is not a sandwich of love. That is a sandwich of pain. Uh, that is a sandwich of rage or something. I, I've never seen Diamond Rough come even close to getting taken down, and Hoosier Mama almost did it. But that, in her defense, I said almost. <laughs> Diamond <laughs> Rough is still on her skates, as she should be. Down goes JC Chaotic. K- Kilimanjaro with a ref takeout early on in the game. <laughs> nice hit. I, I liked it. I thought it was clean. Uh, it was totally clean. Shaka Conwick, great job on that last Shiza. That's three grand slams. 45 on the scoreboard for Windy City Rollers. 17 for the Minnesota Roller Girls. Eight minutes and 49 seconds left. Lining up on the inside, we have Athena to Crime, number 30, all in black. We have 187 Lexi Cuter on the right. Aqua and Camo is how she rolls. Uh, it is part of their lifestyle. It is part of how they sleep, how they wake up, how they eat, how they drink. And I can't wait to witness that part this evening. <laughs> <laughs> Lexi doing a great job navigating that pack. Barla Mendetta, small in stature, but making herself big on the track. Athena DeCron gets through with ease. Dump truck. She is Lee Jammer for the Windy City Rollers once again. Not a problem at all for Athena to get through again. We can talk about that pack play. You've got Jackie Daniels. You've got Varla Vendetta. You've got number five in Blossom Bruzo. They are playing as a tight, tight team. And now it looks like Gogo Hatch is going to join that squad. You know, and I'm looking at my officially unofficial, unofficial, officially unofficial stats, and I see one, two, three, four, five lead jams in a row, Windy City Rollers. And, you know, again, the Minnesota Roller Girls have not scored since the eighth jam. They we're in Jan 14, and they have not scored since the eighth jam. Four points on the board for the Windy City Rollers. Seven minutes and 47 seconds left in the first period of gameplay between these two teams. Gogo Hatchet making life hell for Lexi Cuter. <laughs> that is a fact. Gogo Hatchet comes right off the bench. Her head is in the game before she gets on the track. That is extreme focus. You get a penalty, it's fine. It happens. That is part of the game. You get in the box, you take that time exactly. to get your head together, and you come out and be as effective as you can And go-go hatchet. I don't know anybody that can be more effective than her right now because she is doing an excellent job of being a one-woman team until she can get him some help from Varla Vendetta. Easy for me to say. I, I can't even talk right now, Maybe but I'm going to tell you one thing. One thing is that number 21, Tara Skatesoff, is going to take a minute in the sin bin. Oh, voodoo prodigy. Wow. Again, I fell in love with you. And Jackie Daniels, <laughs> once again, being my personal hero, said, voodoo, you took my jammer out. Now I'm going to take your soul out. And Boom goes the, end of the, the dynamite. Oh, I, I don't even say that because I don't watch basketball as much as I should, but I'm saying it. Boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> I'll see the crime gets forced to the outfield. Or out outside, excuse me. She does come back in. There's Gogo Hatchet at the back. Man, she is like, she is like Freddy Krueger. She is right now Lexi Cuter's worst nightmare. Uh, you know, when you have somebody's number, you stick to them like glue. And that, I mean, if you were watching football, it'd be Neon Dion all oh, over your all man. All over the place. And that is, that is a place of frustration. And that's where you not only get your confidence as Gogo Hatchet, but you also get under their helmet on oh, the other totally, side of the team. Exactly. That's, you can start winning the middle of, game there. A lot of roller derby is confidence and intimidation. You know, because I, for example, you stand next to somebody that's twice your size, you know, they, they think that they're going to psych you out. If you just stay focused and level-headed, you could destroy them. Oh, it's a fact. Right now, we are going to thank one of our great sponsors in this timeout that Minnesota Roller Girls have taken. Is your Derby League experience in growing pains? Sure. Have Derby World Travel can help. Check them out at HaveDerbyWorldTravel.com. Get a free consultation. So when it comes tournament time and interleague time, you have much less to worry about. and You can focus on the task at hand, and that is advancing yourself in the WFTDA rankings, and we'll see you at the regional tournament. And the fans start up their personal chance of Minnesota. It's going to be interesting to see how the Windy City res- fans respond. They're joining in, and they're going to get louder and say Windy City if I know my, my fan base, my, my fellow Windy City fan base. I, l- I love that, uh, again, uh, Ruth's dad is here with an R-U-T-H, and now an exclamation point. Very nice. Ruth and Asia and Scarman Electra, almost the same height, but not quite. I wouldn't mind seeing them Indian leg wrestle, though. I'll tell you what. <laughs> well, the day is young. There's there's lots of derby to go. Oh, Lachaim to that, my brother. <laughs> it is only 8 o'clock Central Standard Time. We got plenty to do here. 
We got six minutes and 25 seconds left after that team came timeout rather taken by Minnesota Roller Girls. 17 on the board for Minnesota, 54 as in Brian Urlacher for the Windy City Rollers. <laughs> I love it. Just the little quips that go up in there. Dude, I was wearing my Ditka shirt all day today. I changed into my tuxedo shirt because I had to dress up for the special occasion. Well, you know what? You look fabulous. True story. Ruth and Asia at the top of the pack getting some assistance from Jack Daniels, but Scarman Electra around the outside gets lead jammer status. Maybe a little time out is all the bench of the Minnesota Roller Girls needed. And now Scarman, look at her. She's so cute. She's like, come on, Ruth. We're both tall. Let's do this. And Ruth smiles right back as she calls Lee Jam. Ruth and Asia got right on Scarman Electra's heels and she goes, I'm behind you. And then Scarman <laughs> Electra just look, turns around like, I love you and calls off the jam. You yeah. gotta love, you gotta love the it. excitement that's on the track. Both of these teams are totally honored to be in the position that they're in. They worked really hard and it's very obvious that these teams are the ones that deserve to be going for the number one and number two seeds at the North Central Regional Tournament. Exactly. I could not, I could not agree with you more. I will let you. Okay, I won't. Cola Loca <laughs> is lined up on the inside in black. 911 is your number. Somebody call him. Nine is Kilimanjaro, who is not jammed yet today, but Kilimanjaro takes a bit of a tumble. Cola Loca trying to get past that wall of Tiki Torture and Honeydew Felling. Kilimanjaro out first for lead jammer. That's two in a row for the MNRG. That was a really great, great move there for Kilimanjaro. She stayed focused. She was pretty patient. Skated really low, which I think always helps you, not just in your stability on your skates, but in your visibility. Yeah, and also the element of surprise. Hello. Kilimanjaro already making her way to the front of the pack. It's got to get by Shaka Conduit. Not easily done. Shaka Conduit, an extremely agile skater on the Windy City Rollers. Holds her back. Makes Kilimanjaro call off the jam. They pick up another three points. And it looks like they're finally going to draw some more blood. It is 20 points for the Minnesota Roller Girls and 54 for the Windy City Rollers. And the eight jam drought of being pointless has ended. By the way, my apologies. You guys are due for a drink. Mm. Last jam was a 0-0 jam. Shot o'clock, folks. You know, just as long as we cover the basics and the important material, like when it's proper to drink, I think we're going to be successful this afternoon. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> or evening, By the way, rather, it's I evening, guess. not afternoon. How much have you been drinking? <laughs> on the inside, it is Susie Smashbox, number 91, taking on Athena de Crizzle, I mean, de Crime, uh, in black on the outside. Both of them prancing at the back of the pack. Athena's trying to get past a big wall that is Diamond Rough. Diamond Rough tumbles with Jackie Daniels. Jackie Daniels is now dancing up front with Psycho Novia. Oh, I love watching her block, too. Psycho Novi, one of those skaters that is always all over the place, no matter what helmet cover she's wearing, if she's wearing a helmet cover at all. Blackers don't wear a panty. <laughs> she's always a part of the play, and right now, oh, Susie. she's proving me right. Susie Smashbox stayed on her inside skate, her left skate, leaned back like she was doing the tequila dance, a la Pee Wee Herman, the entire length of the apex, got hit by about three different Windy City blockers, stayed on her feet and kept going, but Athena to crime. Went going a little bit further and got lead jammer for the Windy City Rollers. And it looks like we're having trouble on the Minnesota side getting number 91, Susie Smashbox, through the pack. And Athena to Crime already starting to score points. He has just lapped Smashbox at the front going against Minnesota's deadly threesome. And we got three minutes left to go in the first period of gameplay between these two teams. 20 on the board for Minnesota, 54 for the Windy City Rollers. Susie Smashbox getting taken down by George on your behind. Athena crime at the top of the pack with Gogo, Hatchet, and Sargentina kind of making up their own pack. Sarge is going to have to drop back. Kind of wondering when they're going to call out yeah. of the zone of engagement here. That's what I was wondering myself. It looks like Athena is going to get through five points. Nice grand slam for Athena to crime. Great but job. Way to stick to your guns and stay diligent and push your way through there. And it looks like this is going to be a power jam with 20 seconds to go in the jam. And I guarantee you Athena to crime is going to start scoring some points here and take advantage. Well, we got 15 seconds left on the jam clock, so I say why wouldn't you? Meanwhile, it's a major back block. On, unfortunately, Susie Smashbox. Jam expires. Let's see. It looks like a 10-point jam for Athena to crime. Athena to crime. Very smart move there. She gets through. She gets that grand slam. She calls it off while they have a lot of time to go ahead and rest, reset, and then you have a fresh power jam with Shaka Conduit, number 15 for Wendy City. And you're looking at that lineup. You got Gogo Hatchet in the box, unfortunately, but out on the track, you have... Three very, very competent, in fact, very scary blockers. Even though she's new this season for the Windy City Rollers, Deb Autry, number 74, you and I have been talking about her all weekend. She is phenomenal and very much so a team player. Amy No Amy, same thing. This is her second season with the Windy City All-Stars, but she is nothing but deadly on the track, as is Hoosier Mama. But looking out there for the Minnesota Roller Girls, I'm seeing the likes of Tara oh. Skatesoff, who unfortunately took a tumble. Honeydew Felon, they're looking for a call here. There is no call, but there is a call for Lee Jammer and Chaka Conduit. 
with a great assist there by Amy. No, Amy over to that hole wide up so Shaka Conduit can shoot on through. And there is the Windy City sweep, pushing the Minnesota Roller Girls all the way to the outside of turn four, making life smooth, easy, and silky. Getting that grand slam bar, the Windy City Roller. Would you say that's uh, Windy City blowing them to the outside? Hello. I'm just wondering if that's what you're saying. <laughs> I'm not going to deny. You can't deny my love. <laughs> my love for roller derby. And I cannot deny that there's an amazing wall set up by the Minnesota Roller Girls. Tiki Torture, uh, Tara Skates Up, and uh, Voodoo Prodigy. They are just brilliant when they are working together. At the back of the pack, however, is Amy Nonami and Who's Your Mama that are now dancing with the re- recently released Susie Smashbox. Is Susie Smashbox living in the Matrix? What did she just do? She just bent sideways. I think she disappeared. But here she is in front of us once again, ready to on her scoring path. Oh. Oh, it's magic. Susie. You know. Smashbox. <laughs> Shaka Conduit <laughs> called the jam. She picked up four more points on that last pass. So we're going to look at the scoreboard right now. It's going to be 20 points on the board again for the excuse me, Minnesota Roller Girls. 69 for the WCR with 20 seconds left to go. Can we get one more jam out? We shall see. Oh, uh, correction, that's 73 for the Windy City Rollers. I can't do math. you got to do it for me, scoreboard. <laughs> we do have 10 seconds to go. See if we're going to get things underway. It looks like we may have time. Six seconds to go on the clock. And that's Bamp, Beth Amphetamine, otherwise known oh. as Boo-Earns, taking on Scarman Electra. The regulation cock has winded down. The regulation what? Exactly. <laughs> has winded down. Yeah. I can make mistakes, too. Uh, our and we're going to go by the jam clock for the rest of it. One minute, 45 seconds to oh. go. Wow. Garmin Electra. Beautiful, beautiful work. I don't think anybody even saw her coming. She just cut right up the inside like she was invisible. Did she borrow somebody's invisibility cloak? <laughs> Beth and Benjamin at the front of the pack trying to get through Minnesota's defensive squad. We've got arms flailing. Jackie Daniels coming up to assist. Great job there. Opening the hole just enough for Beth Amphetamine to make it through. Prize fighter. Now she is on the wheels and hot in pursuit. And you know, as you said, just enough. That's the key. You don't want to open it up too much because your opposition, whether they be a blocker or a jammer, are going to go right through. The jam gets called by Scarman Electra. Four more points for the Minnesota Roller Girls bringing their score at the half to 24 to 73. Windy City Rollers with the lead, but we still got lots of time. And while it's halftime, we would like to say thank you so much to our day three sponsor, Flat Track Revolution. Every revolution needs a live stream, and you have one here in DNN. So why not support the folks that will be providing you with your um, incentives, if your contribution gifts, if you'd like to make a contribution at DerbyNewsNetwork.com. We're still in the middle of our biggest pledge drive ever. Check out also FlatTrackRevolution.com. The revolution shall be born. True. <laughs> we also want to thank Sin City Skates, the original Derby oh, yeah, on Skate did. Shop. It's also DNN's very first sponsor. And also, uh, one of our lovely textcasters is sitting right next to me, Ivana Spankin. Why, hello. She is. Uh, she and Trish the Dish make up Sin City Skates, in addition to several Woo! skaters. Sin City, yeah, Woo! Exactly, SinCitySkates.com. They only have skaters working for SinCitySkates.com. You guys have five employees total, is that right? Oh, snap. All skaters. All skaters. Six of them. Yeah. I can't say that on air, but I do agree. Uh, <laughs> right now it is 73 Windy City Rollers, 24 minutes Minnesota Roller Girls, and it is halftime. We've got about 10 and a half minutes to go. Go check the do off your leave. Go pop another top. Get back in front of that screen, and we'll be back here in a few minutes. My name is Dump Truck, and I am joined by Val Capone. Hello. And yes, you are so lucky because we are sitting in a tree with a microphone together, and it is fabulous. What? <laughs> City 
Anyway, he off the jet.
Windy City Rollers with 73 points over Minnesota Roller Girls 24. And you're going to see Athena to Crime is lining up behind the jammer. She is taking her intentional fourth minor. She intentionally is earning herself an illegal procedure minor. As you see, Professor Murder Center off to the box. Now, Shaka Kondo is going to be facing off with Scarman Electra Scarman, who went riding high into the halftime with uh, getting four more points for the Minnesota Roller Girls 24 to 73 as it stands. 
those last minute points can really take you to the locker room yeah. really well. No matter what the score says, it's like, hey, you know, it's obvious that we're doing some good stuff out here. Let's build on that. Let's fix the penalty issues and let's move forward. It looks like Shaka Conduit for the Windy City Rollers is going to come through as your lead jammer. And now, one of the things that I was saying to one of my league mates, I was running around with the Chicago flag, of course, because I am very proud to be from Chicago, as are the rest of the Windy City Rollers. I had no idea. Where the WTA Championships will be held this November 5th to the 7th, 2010. Holler. In UIC Pavilion in the loveliest city on earth, Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> uproar on the lakeshore.com but I was running around with my Chicago flag of course and we were talking I was like you know we're doing pretty good but 50 points is not that much of a lead on the Minnesota Roller Girls because they are the scrappiest team I've seen in a long time they will fight and claw and five points goes to Shaka Conduit they will fight and claw their way back and not in a malicious mean way even though they are Minnesota not so nice but you know they have a lot of talent on their team and they haven't even jammed Jukebox yet so Jukebox is like their secret weapon it's going to be really hard to shut her down. So, I mean, oh, she, they haven't jammed her yet this period, so we'll see what happens. Shaka Conway starting to skate low and wide. Yo, so many jam. Yes, sir. That's how it works. She gets through. That is going to be another grand slam for the Wendy City Rollers. Constantly put more points on the board. Cool but that. do not, do not forget about Scarman Electra. She's been one of the best jammers that the Aqua and Camouflage have to offer. Aqua. I, I did get an official update from Denouncer Dwayne. Aqua. Oh, no, I found out from John Manning last night. Oh, yeah? Zero, zero on that last pass. So not this last jam, but definitely this last pass. Why don't you all take a drink? Because you deserve it. Mm, go, 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 go. Ah. Now I'm going to read you the scoreboard. It's going to be 24 for the Minnesota Roller Girls, 83 for the Windy City Rollers, with just under 28 minutes left of gameplay between these two teams. Wow, I'm almost kind of sad. 28 minutes left of the thunder on the tundra. Who knew that Chicagoans would be so stoked to be right next door to the Lambeau Field? <laughs> Who knew? I tell you, this has been one amazing tournament. Oh, yeah. The, the gameplay in the last 365 days has come up so fast. There's a lot of young leagues here yep. that are already skating. Like, they've been doing this for quite some time now. That is very exciting for the North Central region. And is very exciting for roller derby in general. Because that is a, a habit that is happening all around the country. And it looks like Kilimanjaro up front in the jammer position for Minnesota. And that's going to be local. I'm sorry. That Cola Loca for Windy City. And it's going to be Kilimanjaro with the lead jammer status shortly followed by Cola Loca. Cola Loca about 20 feet behind Kiliman. Varla Vendetta and Who's Your Mama were doing a great tag team at the top of the pack. But Kilimanjaro is so slippery and wiry. Just look at her. She gets so low. And look at her fight. She's got so much hustle. She stays on her skates. Now she's got to contend with Deb Autry. Cola Loca pushes Deb Autry out of the way. And it looks like Kilimanjaro did call the jam. We're going to have to see if any points were awarded. Zero points for the Windy City Rollers. We're still waiting on the Kilimanjaro points. Howie Swerve is conferring with Professor Murder. We do want to thank one Rock point. One point. I apologize for that, Val. I hope you still love me. You are a douche. <laughs> I want to thank Rockstar Skates. Rockstar Skates. Goodness gracious. Derby owned in St. Louis. Get free shipping on any order over $50 this week and use the coupon code DNN at rockstarskates.com. Athena to Crime taking on Susie Smashbox. Athena to Crime taking the rear position as far as jammers are concerned. Susie Smashbox going to the outside, trying to go through the middle. Athena goes to the outside, getting some help up front from Jackie Daniels. Amy No Namy and Gogo -Go Hatchet wailing into Susie Smashbox. Georgia on your behind right there to close up that hole. Athena to Crime is out first. She is your lead jammer. Got to get. And the H in Ruth and Asia, the H for Ruth is going crazy. I don't know if you saw that, but the H was just doing jumping jacks, basically. <laughs> Susie Smashbox trapped behind. Georgia on your behind. Amy No Namy and Jackie Daniels. Here comes Gogo Hatchet to not so save the day. Athena to Crime is in the mix. Gets around the last blocker. Five more points, Stump Truck. Would you want to go through that, Jackie? Go, go, Hatchet. No. And then Georgia on your behind. Goodness gracious. Smashbox taking punishment. And now she's been hit by Amy No Namey. And she just continues to get bombarded. And I got to say, the answer is no. As a Windy City Roller B-teamer, I do get beat up by Jackie Daniels all the time. I don't know why Susie Smashbox is going to the penalty box. I got to be honest. I don't. I didn't see what the call was. But perhaps it was a track cut. Thank you, Dump Truck. But Susie is such a clean, 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 clean jammer. I mean, she is so smart and she is such a sweetheart. I mean, she will kill you in your sleep. But she is such a sweetheart. Like, she is not a dirty skater. She's not going to do anything intentionally just to get a penalty. I'm kind of surprised to see her in the penalty box. Sorry, Susie. I, I'm, I got your back, girl. Looks like we're going to have an official timeout. We do want to thank our 
great sponsors for the Thunder on the Tundra, Fast Girl Skates. Fast Girl Skates has been one of the greatest supporters of Derby News Network that has ever been known by man, woman, and child. And they are the first and brick and mortar. And also my dog. And, oh, yeah, don't forget about that. What an adorable animal Yippee that Yippee-ki-yay. Hey, Meffer. <laughs> Thanks again. If you want to see Fast Girl Skates, make sure you come out to the Seattle area in one of the greatest hot spots of roller derby in the country yeah. right now. Totally. The Pacific North Northwest Derby is sick out there, man. Yeah, it's really entertaining. you got to love it. It's tough. It's tight. It's competitive. All in the same town. And if you don't have time to go up to Seattle, well then, all you got to do is go, go online, online to fastgirlskates.com. You know, they just recently in 2009 started having an online store to go with the world's first brick and mortar store. But yeah, fastgirlskates.com. It's your complete one-stop shop, yo. And it looks like we're going to have some zebra huddle very, very close to us. If only we could hear what they were saying. We do want to give a big thanks to you, the DNN viewer, very close to our to meeting our 2010 core fund drive target. So if you've been lusting after the clothes and tote bags designed by Flat Track Revolution, time is running out. Just click the contribute button anywhere on the site for your of every revolution needs a live stream. Gifts. Tell the world that you're a part of viewer supported volunteer power. DerbyNewsNetwork.com. And I'm looking at some of the viewers at home. They're saying, will MNRG jam juke at any point? And that's what I'm saying. I mean, I'm a Windy City Roller, and I will be till death does derby part me or whatever. But I am a huge fan of roller derby, and the Minnesota Roller Girls are one badass team. And one of the reasons, not the only, but one of the reasons is because of Jukebox recently transferring there. I mean, when you look at Tiki Torture and Diamond Rough and Citizen Pain. A lot of raw talent. Dude, speaking of badass right there, that lineup. But Jukebox has yet to jam this period. I know that she's very, very, very valuable in the pack. But it's kind of surprising that they have not jammed her, especially considering the point deficit right now. Granted, you know, it's, it's almost 70 points between these two teams. But really, it's twenty, almost 25 minutes. That's like nothing. Racer McChaser got 32 points in one jam. We saw that yesterday. Barla Vendetta went on a 10-point 10, uh, 10 spree. I mean, we saw the other day, tw- everybody all day has been doing 20-point jams. Hannah Ocho Cinco Barbaric did, what, a 25-point jam in that last game? Or 24-point jam? I mean, it's ridiculous. It's very, 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 very easy right now for Minnesota to get back in this game because they are not out of it. I'm not going to say it's anybody's game because she ain't here today. Anybody ain't skating today. So That is a fact. You're right. I mean, it's almost 70 points. We have seen this all weekend long. This North Central region is very good at making adjustments on the move. We just got back from the locker room not too long ago, and I guarantee you the strategy that was discussed in the locker room is still in the process of being applied. But you do have to wonder about the jukebox. Not to go back to that again and hammer it away. But it is a huge, huge, huge question mark. Well, and I think you want to have the box lunch combo, if you will. The one-two punch of Susie Smashbox and Jukebox. I mean, those two jammers are two of the finest skaters in all of Derby Nation. Like, all of the world, you're never going to see two skaters better than those two. And they're on the same team. That should be illegal. <laughs> I think that that should be a uh, illegal procedure for awesomeness. <laughs> Too much awesome on one bench. What was that called? Would you raise the roof for that penalty? Yeah, totally. <laughs> and Ruth and Asia, speaking of raising the roof Hello. on Asia, she is alone on the track. And we got three Windy City Rollers and three Minnesota Roller Girls. Speaking up, look at that wall of death right there. That is Diamond Rough. That is Citizen Pain. That is Voodoo Prodigy. Holy shnikes, I think I just saw a nightmare in my country. Ruth wow. and Asia just whipped Hoosier Mama into them. Don't know if I've ever really seen that before. A jammer giving a whip to a blocker nah. to go ahead and help make her own hole. That is teamwork at its greatest definition. Oh, Ruth and Asia gets cratched into by Tiki Torture. Tiki Torture really just wants to live up to her name. And Voodoo Prodigy doing a great job. Unfortunately, she's going to, it looks like going to the box before. Nope, that's who's your mama. My apologies. Ruth and Asia does get out first. She is lead jammer. Gets through. She's got a lot of time to go. It looks like now we do have Minnesota's jammer on her feet, ready to join the action. That is going to be Susie Smashbox, who has just jumped in. And she is now followed by Jackie Daniels. That is not a shadow that you want behind you. No, definitely not. Here she goes, Susie Smashbox. Look at her right off the outside. This is why I love this skater. Nobody saw her coming except for Ruth and Asia, maybe because she's as tall as the Sears Tower. And she called the jam because, you know what, Susie can get her on the, get her on the track. And what, what would you say, eight seconds or less? I mean, 
It doesn't take much time at all. It's longer than mac and cheese in the microwave, but it's really short. Not, right. a, not nearly as long as it takes me to eat it. Now you're creeping me out. It's true. Garmin Electra is lining up on the inside line, taking on Beth Amphetamine on the outside. What a great matchup. This is going to be two of the phenom jammers for these teams. Aqua and Camo getting ready to rock and roll. Looks like they're trying to control the front at this point. And in the mix, looks like that is Go-Go Hatchet trying to bust it up. Yeah, Go-Go Hatchet doesn't normally wear the pivot stripe. Oh, Bethamphetamine goes down on top of Honeydew Felon. I'm surprised there was no back block call, honestly, on that one. Bethamphetamine gets around Citizen Payne at the top of the pack. Bethamphetamine is your lead jammer for the Windy City Rollers. Bethamphetamine on the move. So far, she is the only one out of the pack. She's already scoring points right now as she goes to the inside of the track. But it is nothing that is easy. Scarman Electra gets trapped by Georgia on your behind. And uh, I'm hearing whistles. Where's it going? Beth Amphetamine calls the jam. Five more points picked up for the Windy City Rollers. Jukebox goes to the penalty box now for the Minnesota Roller Girls. Why? What did she do? It looked like that was uh, back blocking. Oh, okay. And so does number 23, Jack Fass. I'm not really Jack Fass. I can, I'm sorry, I'm butchering your name, honey. Please don't kill me when you see me at the after party. <laughs> Jack's Claus. Thank you. Thank you, Dumb Truck, for saving me. Yeah, you know, I'm not good at much, but I'll, I'll, I'll get that one for you. Kilimanjaro jamming for the Minnesota Roller Girls at number nine. And we have 15, Shaka Conduit for the Wendy City Rollers. Kilimanjaro's looking to go to the outside. Shaka Conduit finds an inside line, but she also finds number 333 for Coochie Minnesota Coo. Roller Girls. Coochie Coo. Been in the pivot slot quite a few times so far today, yeah. and she runs a great pack. She does, and Shaka Conduit one, runs a great jam. She just got lead jammer status. But yeah, Coochie Coo. Oh, no, 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 no. Killaman is going to the box. Killaman has been a little heavy on the penalties this weekend. Yeah. He was actually uh, ejected from one of the games yesterday. Shaka Conduit picking up four points. Old rubber legs. <laughs> Pack play definitely not slowing down. Jackie slowing the pace, but the hits have kept on coming. And here comes Shaka Conduit going to the inside line. Shot. Oh, man. Well, you got to love wow. that. Just a little bit goes a long ways when your name is Jackie Daniels. Yeah, exactly. And standing with at attention is Jukebox. Look at her coming, galloping out of the box. Boy, oh, that was great timing right oh, there. That's one of those timing. you must hustle moments. They take down Shaka Conduit over in turn one. And now she is also having problems getting through the pack. Well, yeah, because who's out there? It's Jukebox. What did I tell you? She is like a secret deadly weapon. Now, Varla Vendetta and Jackie Daniels are getting on Jukebox because they too have realized that she will destroy your face. And there goes Shaka Conduit. Looks like she was trying to get into the back, but Five that jam has points. been called. There you go. She does get the grand slam. Now it is Wendy City Rollers 114 points over the Minnesota Roller Girls with 25. 20 minutes to go in the second period. And we would love to thank some more of our sponsors. Derby for All. Derby owned in Minneapolis. Which is in Minnesota. We yeah, love, we love, yeah. love, I love that Derby city. All, man. Two wonderful leagues in that town with North Star and on the track right now, Minnesota. They, they had a great setup here this weekend in Bender Village. They had amazing stuff over there. We do want to thank you. You want to check them out? You can go to derbyforall.com. That's the word Derby, the number four, the word all.com. And Cola Loca is lining up. Kilimanjaro just released from the penalty box just in time for her to get on the track at the start of the jam. Kilimanjaro's got one blocker left, but it's Hoosier Mama. And now Kuchiku is going to try to take the uh, the Loca out of Cola. Wow. Oh, Kilimanjaro found some gas there at the very end. She gets to the pack. But Lee Jammer is Cola Loca. That is a fact. Oh, and I just found out it's Jack Kavoth. Thank you, uh, David Deckham. Thank you so much. Kavoth. Jack Kavoth. Gola Loca getting in the pack. Grabs up actually two points since there is a Minnesota Roller Girl. Oh, no, that's looks gonna like. Be three. three points, so it says Rock. Rock is not. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm bass backwards. Yeah, true I'm, story. It's actually a fact. You should see the pants. Oh, yuck. Uh, 25 <laughs> on the board for Minnesota Roller Girls. 117 for the Windy City Rollers. 19, 18, 58, actually. 18, 58 left <laughs> on the board. Oh, and here she is. Susie Smashbox. And the crowd is getting behind her, which is what I love about Minnesota Roller Girls. First off, their fans totally took their shirts off, which was hilarious. Yes. And they had all that uh, Minnesota MN, MNRG Roller Girls spelled out on their chest and stuff. Awesome. But second, that they're still standing behind their team, trying to get them riled up, ready to go. Because really, still, 18 and a half minutes, long time. 
Athena to crime, taking on that Susie smash box. Ruth and Asia took her intentional fourth minor for a legal procedure and is sitting in the penalty box. Out of the penalty box comes Tiki Torture. Susie Smashbox going to the outside, looking to make a move on Varla Vendetta. Does she get through? Yes, yes. she does. She's going to be lead jammer, and that is exactly what Minnesota Roller Girls and their fans need to be seeing right now. Yeah, and, and there is a game changer on this team. There are two of them, Jukebox and Susie Smashbox. Maybe we should all name ourselves something Box, and then we two can be game changers. But <laughs> Susie is about to hit the back of the pack. Windy City's trying to speed it up. But out on the out on the pack line, we see uh, Citizen Payne and Tiki Torture. Tiki Torture doing a great job of trying to isolate Sargentina. Unfortunately, she got past Citizen Payne. Voodoo Prodigy back out on the track. Five points for Susie Smashbox Dump Truck. What a great job going around. Really, the, some of the best defenders that Windy City has to offer. And she gets right by them, picks up five points, and she is ready to score right now. Gets right around Ruth and Asia. Oh, my Woo! God. Red Rover, Red Rover. Susie. Says Smashbox. Susie, Susie. Right over. Susie Smashbox. That is exactly why I'm stalking her. Godzilla. That oh. was amazing. And that is a grand slam. I want to high five her right now. Girls. Look at And Voodoo Prodigy comes over and goes, nice job. Nice job indeed, dude. That is things oh. of legend right there. You know, 117, Wendy City, 35, Minnesota Roller Girls. Yeah, ducking down really low, Susie Smashbox. Amazing. But up ba 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 da ba da my name is Susie Smashbox. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Athena the Crime is standing at the penalty box. I mean, she has 10 seconds or less, less left on the clock, rather. I'm having no fun right now, Val. Me I neither. Tell you, this is I'm very horrible. angry. <laughs> Not at Lexi Cuter, though, man. She's been a badass all weekend. She has been one of the workhorses of the Minnesota Roller Girls. And just released from the pen is Athena the Crime. Athena the Crime going to the outside. Lexi Cuter looking for a hole. She's got Amy No Navy, Go Go Hatchet, and Georgia on you're behind. Stopping her from doing so. Nice block there from her fellow Minnesota roller. Yeah, Diamond Ruff, dude. Perfect timing. She has impeccable timing, Diamond Ruff. God, you can see the athleticism in Lexi Cuter. And she was at the very back of the pack. And as number 30 for the Windy City Rollers, Athena, Athena, Athena crime. crime gets through the pack. She's right behind her. Yeah, exactly. And two points were scored by Athena to Crime as she called the jam. So that's going to take your score to 35 to 119. 16 minutes almost left to play. Derby News Network would love to thank the hundreds of you who have contributed to viewer-supported DerbyNewsNetwork.com over this summer. We know a lot of you are waiting to receive your premiums, and we have got great news for you. Our friends at Flat Track Revolution have been working literally night and day to get your goods ready to ship starting tomorrow. So go out to your mailbox, take a nap, and hopefully when you wake up soon, you'll have some fabulous DerbyNewsNetwork.com merch. Thanking you for your contribution from the Flat Track Revolution. The revolution shall be worn. And we got Scarman Hell Electra taking on Ruth and Asia. Coming out of the box is Tiki Torture. She's going to join her teammates out on the track that looks like Coochie Coo, Citizen Pain, and Jukebox out there. We got a lot of mayhem going on on the track right now. It looks like Tiki Torture is going. Cool. Well, it's a little bit of confusion. I do apologize. Jukebox down on the track. She's getting up slowly, but she is getting up. Lead Jammer status is going to go to Ruth and Asia. Deb Autry, a name we have not said a lot this game, is all over Scarman Hellector right now. And she is, she's been a phenomenal power this entire weekend. Haven't said her name a whole lot today, but when she's out there, she makes it count. Ruth and Aja, lead jammer, going against it. 16, Citizen, Citizen Pain, Pain dude. for Citizen Minnesota. Pain. She is brutal. Sargentina sitting in the penalty box right now. See, there she goes. Citizen Payne right on Ruth and Asia. Good luck getting around that because she is mean. <laughs> I'm just saying it. She's not Minnesota not so nice. She's just mean. Scarman Electra finally making it out of the pack. She's available to score. And Tiki Torture saying, I'm not sure why I'm going to the penalty box. And I couldn't agree with you more. I didn't see the call on that, but unfortunately she is in the sin bin. Scarman Electra is out and now eligible to score. Except for Ruth and Asia decided, no. Nope. I don't feel like it. <laughs> 14 minutes, 12 seconds to go in the second period. It looks as if this is going to be 119 points for, no, I'm sorry, 123 points for Windy City and 35 for the Minnesota Roller Girls. And we are going to have a timeout for Windy City. Oh, I'm sorry, Minnesota. Man. Godzilla. Don't track. You Slap are me drunk. around. I enjoy it. It More might like work. like drunk Godzilla. Mm. <laughs> That's the second timeout that Minnesota has used, and we are going to take this time to thank FastGirlSkates.com. 
It's my happy place. I've said it all weekend. FastGirlSkates.com. They just went online in 2009, but they were the world's first brick and mortar derby store. There's so much personalized service there. If you know, I mean, there's so many things that that a skater needs in their lives. And where can you go? You can go to Fast Girl Skates. FastGirlSkates.com. You can go there online. Ask them questions online. They are going to respond to you, or they are going to respond to you and do everything they can to help you out. Why? Because it's skaters taking care of skaters. That's what we do in the derby community, especially uh, Wiley Peyote and La Petite Mort. They are the owners of Fast Girl Skates. And Wiley Peyote actually is also uh, training at Laid on the Track this year in Hawaii. So go to LaidOnTheTrack.com if you'd like. And like the whole reason why they decided to open up their actual store, the, the physical store, not the, the online store, the brick and mortar store, is because they wanted more personal service when they were supplying themselves with their gear. So you know that they're going to bring you good stuff. They've been Rat City Roller Girls for years now. And they bring their ex- their in-store experience to the web. So like I said, you know, if you order online, they're going to be able to help you out. They're going to talk you through it. They're going to be really, really easy going with you and answer any questions you have. FastGirlSkates.com. Jackie Daniels on the jammer line for the Windy City Rollers and Kilimanjaro for the Minnesota Roller Girls. Kilimanjaro going to the inside. Jackie Daniels drafting, and now she has passed Kilimanjaro, but the Minnesota Roller Girls do have lead jammer status. Jackie Daniels doing her best to stay in front. Kilimanjaro takes the inside line, sees the hit coming from Jackie Daniels, takes it, keeps on moving. Jackie Daniels with a grin on her face, giving Kilimanjaro a little bit of direction. Yeah. She's saying, no, keep going this way. I think she was actually talking to the pack. So I'm trying. <laughs> Minnesota picking up two points there, and Chicago picking up zero. So it's going to be 123 Windy City Rollers and 37 for the Minnesota Roller Girls with 13 minutes and 19 seconds to go. Wow, I tell you, we've had a lot of great sponsors, and all of them have made this possible. 5 on 5 Magazine, one of those. At the next break, go to 5 on 5 magcom Spell it out, F-I-V-E-O-N-F-I-V-E-M-A-G.com. They are amazing. It's official magazine of the Women's Flat Track Derby Association. And we got Cola Loca lining up next to Susie Smashbox. I got a little dizzy for a second. I saw 911 lined up next to 91. I think Dirty Marty would appreciate that. Ooh, <laughs> down goes Blossom Bruzo. But lead jammer status goes to Cola Loca, who gets out of the pack first. Amy Don't Amy using debauchery to launch herself into Susie Smashbox and then again into Citizen Pain. It's a skinny pack, but it is a deadly one for sure. And it looks like Smashbox has finally gotten through from the pack. And Cola Loca has come through, started her scoring run. She's got to get past Cycle Novia, and she does so. And that is going to be three points for the Windy City Rollers. And she's flying around the track. <laughs> <laughs> she is flying. And that actually, if you look to the sidelines, it's her captain, Beth Amphetamine, had her arms stretched out too. They are speed skating partners. And they took home the gold. I think that they were flying for each other, soaring like a bird. Ah, Look up here. Now it's 126 to, to 40 right now, favoring the uh, Windy City Rollers. We got 11 minutes and 50 seconds left. 187, that is Electrocute. Electrocuter, she is screaming to her pack, getting all pumped up. Look at her. I, this is why I love Minnesota Roller Girls. Because they're like, we are just happy to be here, but we are also going to bring it. You know, they're not just showing up. They're sh- they're showing you down. They're shutting you down. 126, Windy City, 40, Minnesota, 11 and a half to go in the game. Lexi Cuter and Shaka Conduit going at each other there for a moment. They are now past turn two. Shaka Conduit at the front of the pack. Looking for some help there, getting some coaching, and here comes Who's Your Mama to open up a whole lot of messing. Yeah, I was going to say a whole lot of hell right now for everybody in the pack. Down goes Go Go Hatchet. Shaka Conduit at the front. Who's Your Mama clears the way for her. Nice lead jammer status with the assist to Who's Your Mama. Who's Your Mama and Sergeant Tina are way out of play, so they have to let Lexi Cuter go. Picking up her fourth minor is Go Go Hatchet. Lexi Cuter with a shovel in hand, digging deep and making sure that she makes up for lost ground as quick as possible. But Shaka Kondo was trying to make her way through the pack before she calls off the jam, and it is a very effective way. Hit it and quit it. Yeah. Get a few more points. We have 10 minutes, 45 seconds to go in the period in the game. 128, Windy City, 40 for the Minnesota Roller Girls. Yeah, and one of the one of the uh, viewers at home is saying WCR has done a much better job of staying out of the box, team. I couldn't agree with you more. And I think what it is, if you look to their bench... Uh, when the video pans over, as it is right now, thank you, Hinkley Productions, 
everybody's really calm. Everybody's really just chilling out. Nobody's getting aggro. Nobody's getting pissed off at ref calls. And they're still going to the box a fair amount, but not nearly as much for as, as many devastating things as they did in their previous bouts this weekend. So, astute observation. They are calm as bath water, but there's one woman who is not. That is number 28 from Minnesota. Scarman Scarman Electra, Electra gets through, and she is going to have your lead jammer status, and she is halfway around the track. And it looks like Athena to Crime is still trying to make it through the pack. Gets absolved one more time. And here comes Scarman Electra looking for some help. Smashbox right in front of her. I'm sorry, Jukebox right in front of her. The other box. Wow. Oh, big hits on the ground. Shiza. Athena to Crime is going to go to the box. Jeez, announcer 101. Once you say it, the opposite happens. I'm sorry, Athena. But. She's going to the box for cutting the track. Looks like Scarman Electra said, all right, now I'm going to call it. We're going to regroup. We're going to get there out on the track. Nothing wrong with a little bit of freshie. Nope. 128, Windy City Rollers, 40 for the Minnesota Roller Girls. Under 10 minutes ago in this game, this game has been just as exciting as all of the other matchups that we have seen here in Green Bay, Wisconsin at Thunder on the Tundra. And I got to say, this is a great way to kick off tournament season here oh, yeah. in uh, tournament world, if you will. The WFTDA Big Five. Check out www.wfta.com. It's a Women's Flat Track Derby Association. If you want to find out more information for the upcoming tournaments, the next one will be September, uh, the weekend of September 25th. So the 24th to the 26th. It's Derby in the Burbs, brought to you by Suburbia Roller Derby. Go to derbyintheburbs.com. Following that, it's going to be rolling, rolling. Rolling on the river. river. De, 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 de. That's right. Brought to you by Sacred City. Lee Jammer going to Kilimanjaro of the Minnesota Roller Girls. Kilimanjaro have a great game oh, so she's far. Amazing. And and she's actually really nice. We were hanging out with her last night, right? She's super nice. Yeah, she's super red. She's got great tattoos. Yes, she does. She's super excited to be a Minnesota Roller Girl. She really and, is. And you can see why she's won right now. She's going against Who's Your Mama? Get some help oh, there voodoo. from Voodoo. Voodoo. Ooh. Voodoo Prodigy. Holy shnikes. But yeah, rollingontheriver.com. Check that out if you're going to be in the Sacramento region. It's going to be October 1st through the 3rd. Rounding out the Big Five. I'm sorry. The the regional playoffs. That's going to be South Central, yo. What is that? Amber Waves of Pain. <laughs> what a great name for a tournament. Uh, yeah. That's going to be in Lincoln, actually, Nebraska. Well, yeah, we actually used to have a skater on the Windy City Rollers named Amber Waves of Pain a couple of years ago, but it's totally appropriate for the South Central Regionals. Beautiful. Hosted by the New Coast Roller Girls. That is the uh, 7th through the 9th, I believe. This is all from memory, so I apologize if I spoke incorrectly. Go to WFTDA.com for more info. And let's not forget the biggest of all. It's so big. How big is it? It's bigger than the Sears Tower of Power. It is Uproar on the Lakeshore. Go to UpproarOnTheLakeshore.com, hosted by the Windy City Rollers. Five points for Kilimanjaro. Athena to Crime is now out of the pack, eligible to score, but nice five points by Kiliman. I could just kill man. <laughs> uh, November 5th through the 7th, 2010. Both of these teams will be there. Why don't you join us? Along with the Mad Rolling Dolls, all three of those leagues are going to the WFTDA Women's Flat Track Roller Derby Championship. Hosted by the Windy City Rollers. Once again, up or on the lakeshore. And it looks like we are going to have an official timeout. If you haven't given this year, you should really take a look at the fantastic designs of Flat Track Revolution created for DNN. It's called Every Revolution Needs a Live Stream. And you can see it by clicking on the contribute link anywhere on DNN. If you like that, and we know you will, go check out more of their unique designs at flattrackrevolution.com. The revolution shall be war. Now we got six minutes and 40 seconds left in the final period between these two teams. 50 on the board for Minnesota Roller Girls, 128 for the Windy City Rollers. On the line, we have Susie Smashbox ah. lining up against Ruth Anasia. 91 <laughs> versus 81. You know, I want to take a few seconds again to, to thank Rydell Skates. Yeah, Without dude. Rydell Skates, we wouldn't have the stellar equipment that most of these ladies are wearing on their feet. Those are the skates I wear. And I would not be able to come to this amazing tournament here at Green Bay, Wisconsin. They're responsible for bringing me here, and I cannot thank them enough. And they are getting more and more involved in the world of roller derby as we progress. We have brought them along with us, and they are really excited to be a part of the roller derby community. Not only are they here 
to make sure you know everything that you need to know about the new Rydell Skates products. But they're also th- helping with events at RollerCon. They had a great yeah. event with the meet and greet. Everybody oh, that was so, so much fun, much dude. Fun. Well, they could not have a better way they had, to like, kick the off that weekend. like the 80s party. It was so much fun. <laughs> yeah, it was. They gave away tons of gear. $5,000 worth of gear. And, uh, and quite a few pairs of skates. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Number 91, Susie Smashbox on the jammer line oh. for Minnesota. Uh, this is going to start in a confused. power jam. Now, and Athena the Crime is in the box for Witty City. We're not quite sure why. Athena was not in the box. Perhaps she caught up with her fourth minor. I apologize for the speculation. Ruth and Asia was lined up initially. Athena's in the box now. So that means Susie Smashbox is just going to skate on by. Yep, as we have no pack. And here comes Gogo Hatcher re enters the action, and that is enough to make me want to get on the move. Yeah, seriously. If, if, if there's a reason to run, it's because Gogo is on the track. But look at how she off oh, every single time. Susie Smashbox. Again, she, she skates in the Matrix. Like water off a duck's back. She just moves right on through without a problem at all. Lead jammer status owned by Minnesota. Currently 128, Wendy City, 50 for the Minnesota Roller Girls, six minutes to go in the game. A nice takeout by Gogo Hatchet. Gogo Hatchet forcing Susie to go back a nice 10 feet. George on your behind trying to throw the Chicago typewriter into Susie, but Susie's not taking it. Jackie Daniels up there. Amy you know, Amy doing a 360 in the middle trying to bridge the gap. But Susie gets knocked out by JD. JD and Georgia skate back. Marla Vendetta on her feet, ready to leave the penalty area. Yeah, and Susie just decides, let's call it. I'm done. This is just obnoxious. Let's just skate. I Looks think like we are going to have an official review. Oh, my. And this is officially time to thank Fast Girl Skates once again for the great support they have given the Derby News Network. Oh, definitely. I mean, Le Petit Mort will personally mount your skates on the higher-end skate packages offered at their store. She developed the Derby Mount. It's a cross between, like, the standard mount and the speed skating mount. It's the Derby Mount. She's also going to, you know, take into consideration, like, let's say if you are XL Rad, as me and Dumb Truck are. Hollow. At least 200 pounds of love. <laughs> what? Um, she's going to take into consideration your body type, what position you play, what kind of skating style you have. And she's going to help you out. And it's going to be no BS. It's going to be straight up roller derby. She's not going to sell you. I actually heard her say, you know, I don't really think that you need that co- that kind of a skate at this point in your derby career, I think you should get a starter model because there was a there was a, a woman when I was in there that wanted, and I just overheard this conversation. <laughs> Sorry, Le Petit Mort. Um, <laughs> but she was talking to her about, you know, you're brand new to derby. You're doing rec league. I think she's doing PFM, which is pre uh, pre fresh meat. I think this was a few months ago. And she was like, you know, you're new to skating. Don't get this crazy high end boot. Get right. this skate that you can feel comfortable with. Graduate up to a high end boot. I mean. That's what's so great about them is that they're not just into selling you stuff. They're into selling you stuff that you need, stuff that you'll like, stuff that you'll use for years to come. Fast Girl Skate, some sell packages, other sell performance. I'm sorry, Fast Girl Skate sells performance. I'm screwing the whole thing up on my own. Yeah, you if you can't make it over to the shop, you can always go to fastgirlskates.com and check it out. Looks like it's going to be Lexi Cuter on the jammer line for Minnesota to start. And Athena to Crime is already on her feet, and she's going to be ready to join the action shortly after the whistle blows. Right now, the officials making sure the proper call is made. Rev has been running a great tournament so far, coming from the Dairyland Dolls. He has been un- he's been unbiased. He's been completely fair, and he is not a micromanaging man. He's trusting in the efforts of the oh, he gotta love it look, of his lead officials the on the floor. in front of us right now. That I don't know in what I don't know what is going on. I think they know they're on TV. There's some calisthenics going on in the back. Wreck and True is joined up. Carrie Hacksaw. <laughs> They're doing some line dancing. I don't know what the hell. What kind of derby shuffle is going on back there? Heidi Voltage back there as well. You got to love it. Is that Wreck and True? Did you yeah, say Wreck that Yeah, Wreck and True is in there. <laughs> Becky the Butcher, Swing Wreck. Uh, Milwaukee's Breast, who's dressed as a keg. <laughs> what what song is playing? I can't hear it. I don't know if there is one. I think they're making it up as they go. I don't know what song that is, but now I really want to know. Oh, no, it's Missy Elliott, isn't it? Let's see. Talking about the <laughs> what song is this? <gasps> no, this is Ludacris. That's what it is. It makes so good. I don't want to And I got a. Oh, they're getting. Yeah, they're getting. They're getting crazy. Look at them. God, that is amazing. The after party has started with 
Five in minutes, 35 two. seconds to go. <laughs> yeah, in turn two. Five minutes, 35 seconds to go. In the game, 128, Windy City Rollers, 55 for the Minnesota Roller Girls, Lexi Cuter, the lone jammer. Look at how cute she is. She just looked back going, really? Can we get this going? She's like, come (laughs) on, people. I agree with you, Lexi. I want to see you skate, girl. I've been watching you all weekend. You are amazing. Boy, you can definitely see a thing of the crime. She was coming out of the penalty box already on her feet. Athletic position. Game in her head, ready to go. She's in the back of the back trying to make her way through. And Lexi Cuter getting knocked out of bounds by Miss Vendetta. It's not enough to slow her down. No, and she did get Lee Jimmer. Look at her smile. Look at how stoked she is. This is why I love roller derby. Oh, there's so many reasons. That is definitely high on the list. And oh, there goes the the crime. She is out of the box. And she is looking to make up for some lost track. And here comes Lexi Cuter on her first scoring pass of this jam. Now Lexi's got to get past Who's Your Mama and Varla Vendetta. Varla Vendetta trying to put the big hurt on Lexi. Lexi slides right back in. Beautiful, stopping on a dime, trying to get around Who's Your Mama. Athena de Crime is at the back of the pack with Blossom Bruzo. Lexi is out now. Let's see how many points she picked up. That's a big five. Oh, four points. I apologize. Four points in the sky. Athena de Crime almost went into the seats thanks to uh, Tara Skates off. Wow. Amy No Amy just rejoined the action off of the penalty bench. And here's Lexi Cuter one more time getting ready to get in the pack. And it looks like Athena to Crime is going to pick up four, four points for the Windy City Rollers. And we got Lexi Cuter going Jack to the outside. Kavass in the pack now that I learned how to say it. <laughs> and Tara skates off. They're tussling with Amy No Amy, Varla Vendetta, Who's Your Mama, and Blossom Brizo. Lexi calls the jam. She gets one more point on that pass. 132 Winnie City Rollers, 60 for Lexi and the Minnesota Roller Girls. Nice 10 point jam right there for Lexi Cuter. Three minutes, 55 seconds are left. We do want to let you know that the Derby News Network is brought to you in part by. Hinkley Design and Production. Yeah. What a great partnership this has been. Their setup is perfect. It makes our lives super easy, and so does their professionalism. Are you looking for a production company that will get the job done without any hassle? You check out Hinkley Design and Production. Not only are they good at it, but they look good doing it. Yeah, they sure do. And, you know, they've worked with the Mad Rolling Dolls for a couple of years now. I remember when I was announcing for the Mad Rolling Dolls about a year and a half ago. Um <clears throat> And they were doing Mad Roll and Dolls game, home games. And so they love roller derby. They're doing this because they also love and support women's flat track roller derby. So thank you so much to Hinkley Productions. Hinkley Productions catching the fever and rolling with it. Now there goes Kilimanjaro. She's up at the front of the pack. And she's getting just beat up by number 52 from Windy City. Sergeant Tina and Jackie Daniels. And, of course, Georgia on your behind. But Lee Jammer goes to Kilimanjaro. She may have taken a beating from Sergeant Tina, but she survived. Oh, and oh. Sergeant Tina takes a beating from the floor right there. She stands up and goes, Ooh, Ooh I felt that. That, that is the thing. It's just a way to be it. And four minors for Ruth and Nasia. It's going to the penalty box. Not sure what the call is on that. Hopefully, Mr. Rock will elaborate. Not it, not sure what the call is. We're gonna have to try to find out. I think he's uh, getting it discussed with Izzy Pop right now in the center of the track. We're gonna be looking for some hand signals. And, and I see a hand signal. That's five points for Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro trying to get as low as she can. Oh, hits Georgia on your behind down to the uh. ground. Georgia on your behind gonna get a minor clockwise block. And there goes Gogo Hatchet. She's going back to the box. Looked like that was illegal procedure. Illegal. Illegal procedure. And 15 points on that. And there oh, you no. go. We- 13 points, I believe, for Minnesota. Nice work. Yeah, 13 point jam. Nice work, Kilimanjaro. Golly, you know, when it comes down to it, she's a great lady to have on your side. She stays focused, keeps her head down, and she is tough as nails. And Diamond Ruff is going to the penalty box. Diamond Ruff is like my derby soul sister. We got to <laughs> skate together at RollerCon, not this past year, but the year before. We had so much fun just killing everyone that looked at us. <laughs> I didn't care what team you were on. We accidentally killed people on our team. It was it was surreal. No, I'm just kidding. She is so ace. She doesn't do that. I would do that. She would not. My life will be complete whenever I get to announce a game that you are skating in. <laughs> Speaking of ace, I see the ace of the Minnesota Roller Girls, Susie Smashbox. She got Lee Jammer, Dumpy. And this is also one a minute left. power jam with one minute left to go in regulation. Oh, oh, lots of tumbling going on in the track. Jukebox and Smashbox both hit in the ground. 
Well, I think at this moment it's pretty safe to say that 132 Windy City Rollers over Minnesota Roller Girls 73. Windy City is going to take the number one slot on their way to the hometown of Chicago. Wow, down goes Ruth and Asia. Ruth and Asia is looking for a call. She ain't going to get one. Oh, yeah, looks like now she is out of play call on Jukebox. Susie Smashbox on her second scoring pass. She got five the first time. Can she get past Amy Nonami? Amy Nonami takes her out of bounds, but Amy Nonami goes down out of bounds herself. Susie calls it after picking up five more points. That's 78 to 132. Woo! I tell you what, they're starting to creep up even here in the final seconds. We do have 25 seconds to go in regulation. And we're going to see if anybody's going to call timeout and get another jam underway before time expires. 15 seconds to go in regulation. It looks like 187 Lexi Cooter for the Minnesota Roller Girls. And Cola Loca, number 911 for the Windy City Rollers. The jam is underway jam with just seconds, with seconds to go seconds in to go. regulation. Let's see who's going to get lead jammer here. Cola Loca in the lead. Can she make it out? It oh. looks like she did get lead jammer status. Cola Loca for the Windy City Rollers has lead jammer status. Are they going to continue to finish this jam, or is she just going to go ahead and call it off you as know, they both approach the Cola back? Cola is a very, very competitive skater. She's saying, what do you want me to do? I want to skate, but I mean, I guess I'll call it if you want me to, so she did. All right, that's going to be it. I'm going to have to have the pleasure of saying congratulations to the Minnesota Roller Girls. You are number two in the North Central region. Hell yeah, fist pump, girls, because, you know, I don't think very many people saw that coming. Your own skaters even said, we didn't know we had this in us, but yeah. I am so damn proud of you, Minnesota. Hell yeah, way to prove the country wrong. And say it. Windy City Rollers <laughs> are number one in the North Central region. Proving Again. today that they should be. Val Capone, congratulations. Oh, dude. Huge, huge, huge. It Hell has been yeah. a pleasure announcing you, with you. you. I'm gotta, very proud of you and your ladies. you got to understand, our league has gone through a lot of changes in personnel. There was a lot of people that said that this travel team was nothing compared to last year's or the year before that or the year before that. It's like our league is so strong as a league. We work so hard and we care about each other so much. It's one big family. I'm so, so, so proud of the Windy City Rollers for being number one once again <laughs> in the North Central region. All right, I got to go down there with my team. I love you guys so much. Thank you, Derby News Network. Thank you so much to FastGirlSkates.com. Thank you so much to Flat Track Revolution. Dump Truck, thank you. I love you. I got to go. You got to go hang out. Recap, we are going to have Windy City, the number one slot for the North Central region. Number two is Minnesota Roller Girls. And number three, the Mad Roland Dolls from Madison, Wisconsin. Obviously, my name is still Dump Truck. We are joined here for a quick wrap up with Hurt Reynolds. Holy I know it, brother. <laughs> wow. What a weekend. What a weekend. Uh, and uh, as much as Windy City was in control of that bout uh, pretty much the whole way, Minnesota did not let it uh, go without a fight. Um, I couldn't help but have the feeling there. Uh, we were talking about this last night that uh, after. Uh, as coming in as the number seven seed with no expectations, Minnesota knocked off the number three seed, knocked off the number two seed in this tournament, and came in tonight with absolutely nothing to prove. Oh, yeah. They, you know, nothing to lose, nothing to prove. The one thing they did prove is they know how to play this game well, and their hearts are huge, and their chests are out exactly where they should be. Ab absolutely. And, uh, I, you know, watching the second half of this game in particular, I couldn't help but feel like... You know, Minnesota's attitude, even even coming in all day, has got to have been, we're already going to the uh, WFTDA Championship Tournament. All right, looks like we have an award ceremony going on. We'll be right back here in a few moments. Helmets off, please. Some, someone's going to have to measure those uh, those medals a little bit better next time. <laughs> they don't seem to fit over those helmets.
It might be a good idea to hold off on the confetti stuff until after all of the skaters have removed their skates so we don't create a hazard for anyone wearing wheels. Right now, we do have Cracker Jack down there giving out the awards. We just saw Minnesota receiving their second place medals in the North Central region. And now we're going to hear from Cracker Jack talking about the Windy City Rollers and everything they've accomplished here this week. All right, again, dump truck here with Hurt Reynolds. You're watching all the celebration going on the track here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Let's wrap up. We were talking about Hurt. Uh, well, we we just saw the Windy City Rollers uh, defeat uh, number one seed in this tournament, uh, defeating seventh seed. Minnesota Roller Girls, who who very few people here expected would advance all the way to the finals at the North Central Region playoffs. Um, Minnesota uh, taking the loss with stride and putting a whole lot of points on the board while doing it. It really felt to me watching that second half like um, you know they came in feeling like we're already going to the championship. What we're going to make out of this? This is our first training camp, and uh, uh, I think um, we've seen them on an incredible trajectory here, having. Uh, a couple of years, you know, having been early in the sport, been very high up in the sport, uh, spending a couple of years uh, having trouble being nationally competitive, uh, just over the course of the last year, starting to put some wins on the board and then coming into this tournament and just being the story. And you know what a great story it has been. It has been an honor to be here with DerbyNewsNetwork.com. Again, I want to thank Rydell Skates for making that possible. Not only am I having a great time, but one tournament at a time, I'm gaining the great perspective on where roller derby really is in this great, great organization of the Women's Flat Track Derby Association. The next one's coming up. Let's talk about the schedule a little bit on the tournaments that we have coming. Well, we're uh, this is the start of our marathon season here. This was the first of four regional tournaments uh, we get a weekend off and then uh, two weeks from now you're going to see us in White Plains New York at the East Region playoffs uh, 10 teams going in there three teams will advance from there to uh, the uh, championship one week after that it's off to Sacramento for the West Region tournament same situation 10 teams go in three teams advance and then the weekend following that, we go to Lincoln, Nebraska, where we'll be at the South Central Region Tournament, and uh, we'll find out 
what three teams from there are going to join the Windy City Rollers, the Minnesota Roller Girls, and the Mad Roland Dolls from the North Central Region at the WFTDA Championship Tournament, which is the first weekend of November in Chicago. November 5th through 7th this year, UIC Pavilion in Chicago, Illinois, is where the championships will be held. And, you know, we, the streaming isn't over today. We do have some more great stuff coming that will actually be at the after party, I believe. Well, we're, we're hoping. Uh, we have some very important business that we have to take care of, you and I, Mr. Dump Truck. Yeah, we do. Uh, we When we got into town, um, we our first stop was at Frozen Code Base. They're the programmers of the uh, roller derby video game that you've been seeing clips of all through the weekend uh we had a chance to play a couple of games you won the first one <laughs> yeah I, did. I won the second one yes you did uh it it uh, has occurred to us over the weekend that we need to take the dnn roller derby drinking game and see how well it applies to jam city roller girls it'll probably apply horribly which is what we're hoping to show everybody because it will be entertaining this is least. the game plan so we're off to the after party we're going to see if we can't uh uh not we're, we're certainly going to have that uh, chance to to get in the the third and final in the showdown, <laughs> and once we've uh, uh, we're in the process, we'll we're going to have a, a line of shots and a, a couple of beers in front of us. And if the technology will permit, uh, we're going to let you watch. So stay tuned. You'll uh, you may see that go up on the live page a little later tonight. All righty, my name is Dump Truck. We're wrapping it up, and on behalf of Herb Reynolds and Val Capone, this has been DNN. All right, one last thing, Dumpy. <laughs> uh, we're going to give you a peek, one more last peek at Jam City Roller Girls. So here's the trailer uh, coming out uh, as a downloadable for the Wii toward the end of the year. All right. What a great Wii Right City Roller Girls.
Shut this bitch down.